Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So today we're going to talk about a topic called bookmarks. And when you start reading a book, often you don't complete it in one go, right? And you tend to create a bookmark in your pages to return back to that exact page whenever you want, once you pick that book again for reading, right? Now, similar to that, Power BI also offers a bookmark feature and it captures the current state of a report page, which includes your filters, slices, cross-highlighted visuals, sorting order, and also the visibility of certain objects. So enough with the talking, let's see that live with an example. The data set that I'm using today is a global COVID-19 data that I downloaded from Kaggle. Links will be in description if you want to follow along. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a chart here. Okay. So let's take total cases of COVID-19 by each country that we have. Now this is the first use case for a bookmark. In this case, I want the user to have the ability to switch between total cases in the Y axis and total deaths in the Y axis. Okay. So by a click of a button, I want the user to be able to toggle between both of them. So I'm going to create two buttons here and the text for the first button would be total cases and the text for the second button would be total deaths. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate of this chart and place it exactly on top of the other one. Now in the new chart, I'm going to use total deaths in the Y axis. Also, I'm going to go to my view panel and in this click on this selection pane. This will show all the objects that are there in your Power BI page. Let's rename some of the objects. So now what should happen is when someone clicks on the total cases button, it should take them to the total cases chart. And when someone clicks on the total deaths button, it should take them to the total deaths chart. Okay. So the first scenario would be when total death and shape case is activated. Okay. So I'm going to hide total cases chart and shape death button and to add a bookmark, what you need to do is inside the view tab only click on this bookmark and now add. Okay. So this is my deaths bookmark. Now my second view would be when total cases and shape death will be visible and the other two are invisible. Add a bookmark. So if you observe, when I click on this deaths, it has taken me to the chart which has the total deaths in it and also it's showing the total cases button here and when i click on cases it's taking me to the cases chart and it's showing the total deaths button okay now the final step is to add an action to both the buttons here so to add an action just click on the button and in the properties click on actions and turn it on and in the drop down select bookmark and the bookmark would be deaths similarly click on the cases button Turn on the action, select bookmark, and in this bookmark, select cases. Now let's see bookmark in action. Okay. I'm going to click on this total cases. It takes me to the chart, which has total cases in it. I click on total deaths. It takes me to the chart, which has total deaths in it. Cool, right? Now bookmark also helps in recording the state of the filters or the slices. I'm going to copy this onto a new page and I'm going to add a button. Now I've added a slicer for country here. Now in this, I want the user to have the ability to filter out certain countries from the chart automatically with just one click of a button. So to do that, I've created this first view, which will be my master view where all the filters are removed. So I'm going to create a bookmark on this page. So I'm going to click on bookmark and click on add. And this will be my all country bookmark. Now I want another one which will have certain countries filtered out. So I've filtered out three countries, countries from the entire list, Argentina, Australia, and Bangladesh. And I want the user to have this view with just one click of a button. Okay. But before doing that, I'm going to go to my selection pane. I'm going to hide this filter button and instead make all button visible so that when the user clicks on this button, it takes them back to the default view. Now in this state, I'm going to record another bookmark. So add and this one is filter country. Now again, the work is not done. I'm going to add actions to these buttons. 
So when I click on this button, it should take me back to the all country. And when I click on this button, it should take me back to filter country view. Okay, let's see this in action. This is my all view, the, re re the default view. And when I click on the arrow key, it takes me to the filtered view. And again, I'm gonna click on this arrow key. It takes me to the all again. Now this was the second use case of bookmarks. Now, another use case is if you want to link two pages together and you know just want to navigate from one page to another, you can do that as well. I'm gonna utilize the same bookmark that we already created for total cases here. And I'm gonna navigate from this page onto that exact page. Let's insert a shape here. And I'm gonna add an action here. And the action would be a bookmark. And the bookmark would be cases. So when someone clicks on the cases button here, it will take them to the main page where we had the cases. And you can obviously add another button here to take them back to the slicer page here. So as you see, bookmarks give you immense possibilities to create awesome visualization within your Power BI without consuming a lot of real estate. Now, one thing to be cautious about is if you have a lot of objects in your page, creating that bookmark in the first time would be a tough task. But once you have created, it will be very easy for the user to navigate between the many views in the same page and create an awesome visualization within your Power BI reports. So that's it for today. I hope you have learned something new. And if you're liking my content, then please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.